Hello, yes, this is Charles. Uh, today I have uh, an interesting job here. This is an HP 430 D7 and Core i7 10th gen laptop. So this one was brought to me with a no power issue. So when I put in the charger, this light does not turn on and the laptop doesn't do anything. Even if you try to power on, the light does not light on. So now what I've realized that when you put in the charger into this laptop, it doesn't turn on and the light does not light up. So which indicates that probably you don't have 3.3 volts and maybe you might not even have 19 on the motherboard. When I use the multimeter here and try to measure the voltage, basically I'm going to start with the voltage from the charger. So as the charger comes in, it connects here. And when I measure here, I see no voltage the multimeter so let me try to take out the charger and measure and see if the charger has got a voltage so it looks like the charger has got 19 volts now on this side where the charger comes in i don't see the protection mosfets so probably those protection mosfets are at the back side of the motherboard so let me take out the motherboard so that we take a look at those protection mosfets So this is the part where the voltage from the charger comes up to here. It has to, go, to flow through these MOSFETs up to the main motherboard. So let me connect the charger and see if the voltage is able to flow from these MOSFETs here. So when I measure, there is no voltage here. When I measure on this MOSFET, I see no voltage. So probably the voltage is not able to flow through. Wow, I can feel something getting hot here. So this MOSFET here is heating up, which indicates that we must be having a short on the main motherboard. That's why actually when you plug in the charger, the voltage drops to zero, because here we don't see any voltage, even though the charger is giving out 19 volts. So if you have a shot here, I, th I suspect it is on the main 19 rail and I'm going to first take a look at all the components and see their condition and then if I'm not able to see the shot by physical observation then I will try to use the power supply and inject the voltage in a motherboard to realize which part is short to ground. So at the input here, you can see we have two types of MOSFETs. We have this pair here, the diode and the first MOSFET and the second MOSFET. Then you also have this pair here, the diode, the first MOSFET and the second. So both of these ones are all controlling the input power. One of this one is for the charger and this small one is for the type C. Remember the type C can also be used for charging and powering on the motherboard. So what I've seen, when I plug in the charger, this one was heating up, which is the one that is connected from the main charger. So I suspect that for this one to heat up, there is a short at the output and the output is here you can see both of these inputs have got a common output so i'm going to use my power supply connect the positive power supply here and the ground the negative to ground and then i'm going to observe and see which part of the motherboard is taking a lot of current which means the part that is taking a lot of current is going to be heating up so i have so that the positive line from the power supply on the common output and then I've put the negative on ground. So you can see from my power supply I'm going to be injecting in 10 volts and I'm going to be increasing the current slowly. So right now when I plug in the negative you can see that the voltage drops to zero and then the current it goes up to 23 because that's the limit I've set. So when I increase the current, let me put it up to 1 amp, and you can see that the voltage is not raising, which means there is a short on the motherboard. So right now, when I try to fail for any heating part, Let 
me first take off the heat sink. So let me increase on the current. I feel something heating up here a little bit and down here I have a, a capacitor this small capacitor which is connected to the main rail you can see from this fuse and then comes back like this and goes out of these two MOSFETs so when I test this capacitor in continuity mode I can see there's a shot on both sides on the negative and on the positive so you can see right now it's giving out 0.8 on the positive and 0.8 on the negative. Now this one is possible to any, any component that is connected on the rail. However, when I was feeling the heat after connecting the power supply to the motherboard, this part was a bit heating up. So the temperature wasn't so high, but there was something getting warm. So I'm going to first take off this capacitor here, then I try to measure and see if there is any difference. So it is out. So right now you can see probably the shot was on this capacitor. The shot is out. So when I measure both sides of this capacitor, here looks to be short. So such a small component could make such a new laptop very useless. So that's good that you have been able to discover this capacitor. So let me put back everything so that we test and see if we have the display. So let me connect the charger right now. Let's see if we have the light. Yeah, we have the light. We also have light on the power button. We also have light on the keyboard. Hope you can see. So let's wait and see if you have the display. The light of the power button is still on. Yeah, we have the fan. The fan is blowing. Oh, wow. So we have the display. That's good. That's good. That's very good. So thank God that we have been able to fix this. Actually, this is i7 10th gen. I've been able to fix the short circuit. Yeah, we'll just put back the heat sink, do some more cleanup, then assemble it and send it to the customer. So, thanks guys for watching. If you like this video, you can give it a like. If you have any question, you can comment. And if you like the video, 
you can subscribe okay see you again